Hey everybody, it's numerologist Michelle Buchanan with your numerology forecast for June 2018. So let's begin by calculating your personal year number. We do this by adding the day and month or month and day of your birth date to 2018. For example, for the birth date April 4th, we would go 4 plus 4 plus 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 8. Now the rule of thumb here is to continue adding together any double digit numbers that you may end up with until you eventually get a single digit between 1 and 9. And that single digit is your personal year number for the whole year. Now in my example for April 4th, we would go 4 plus 4 plus 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 8. Now that adds up to 19. So, adding any double digit numbers together, I would add the 1 and 9 together to get 10, and the 1 and 0 together to end up with that one single digit personal year number. Alright? Okay, so let's get started with the forecasts. Now just before I do, I want you to know I say this sort of most times before the forecast. If anybody wants a whole 12 month forecast and a complete numerology chart of their entire sort of blueprint that has the whole year's forecast and destiny, life purpose, all that kind of information, it's like a 40 something page report. I'm doing a two for the price of one special, okay? That's two for 25 bucks. Just go to my website, it's up here and go to numerology reports and charts okay and let's get started so personal year number one so you guys are in a whole year of new beginnings that's what this whole year is about it's out with the ultimate way for the new new beginnings now the month of june though is saying we want you to spend more quiet time alone. Now, it doesn't mean it's going to be all the time. It's just the reason for this, it's because you're in a seven month in June. And what the seven month is saying, it's saying make sure that you spend some quiet time alone so that you can process and evaluate what's going on around you. Now, here's the thing. It sounds like a waste of time. It sounds really remedial, but it's not. It's really powerful. And the re there's a reason why it is this month for you. Because the more you do what I'm about to tell you, the better your month will be next month. Okay, so what this month is asking you to do, it's asking you to make time to be quiet, to spend time alone so that you can process what's going on around you in your life. You can get clarity and get clear. And also this is where your intuition kicks in. The more quiet and silent you are, the more it gives a chance for that intuitive hit to come through to help you to know the next logical step to take or an idea or, or, or something that will help you to know the next logical step to take in a situation or a problem. It will put you in synchronicity with life itself. See? See what I'm getting at? And so the thing is, the more, put it this way, the busier you are, the more distracted you are with people or phones or technology or work or kids or family, it's harder for that information to filter down through to you. It's harder then for you to get guidance um, as to where to go from here, especially if you're sort of at a crossroads and you're not sure where to go and what to do. So life's asking you to slow down a bit this month. It's also asking you to slow down so that there's more time for rest and recuperation and relaxation and focus on your health. Okay, now for those that are interested and that are drawn to sort of mind, body, spirit, great month for all of that. Um, great month to take workshops and learn. It's a great month to um, get closer to whatever you believe spiritually. More time for meditation, more time for yoga, more time for exercise, um, any sort of mind, body, spirit sort of online classes or, or learning or reading. All right, so that's what's going on for you. This month is asking you to be patient. Don't force things to happen, okay? Yeah, so I'll leave that with you. All right, now, personal year number two. All right, now, this whole year for you guys is, is sort of saying slow and steady wins the race. You know, do work on the finer details behind the scenes. Don't force things to happen, because if you force things to happen before their time, you'll probably fall flat on your face. You don't want that. All right. Now, for the month of June, this month is saying focus on your spending. All right. Don't overspend. Don't overcommit yourself. Try and budget where you can and get any legal or financial matters in order. Okay. Second thing is, um, for those that are working, you could be busier this month because you're in an eight month, and that's where you can sort of have a bit more work on your plate. 
Um, there is opportunity for you to maybe earn a bit of extra cash, also an opportunity to spend more. So that's why I was saying to budget and to watch your finances and to not overspend. Okay, more importantly though, this month is asking you, especially in this two year, it's to figure out where you're losing power. Now what I mean by where, where you're losing power, what that means is um, we are an energetic system as human beings, all right? And when we exert negative emotions such as stress or worry or fear or jealousy or whatever it is, any of those negative emotions, that's where we lose a lot of our life force energy, okay? Now, when we're losing our life force energy and we're in that sort of emotional state for prolonged periods of time, we are out of synchronicity with life itself. Okay, so another another way of looking at it is the more you dwell on something, whether it's the past or a problem or you're annoyed with someone or you're just not moving on from things, the longer you hold on to those negative emotions, the worse off it's going to be for you because you need to be in as cleaner, clearer, peaceful, emotional space as possible within yourself for the universe to send you the opportunities that you're looking for or the solutions to problems or to simply just be in the right place at the right time so life can flow in a more harmonious vibe. Does that make sense? So this month is asking you, where are you losing power? What are you holding on to? What takes your power away and prevents you from being in synchronicity with life itself? That's something for you guys to think about. All right, I'll leave that with you. Personal year number three. Now, you guys are in a nine month for June. Now the whole year, life is asking you to be more social, okay? To have more fun. And I know it sounds like a waste of time, and again, it sounds remedial, but in the world of energy that we actually live in, it's actually very important. The happier you are, the more joyful you are, the more you are doing things that make you feel good, and it doesn't matter what that thing is or what those things are, the more it raises your energy vibration or that life force energy that we have is enhanced and amplified when we feel good, all right? And so therefore, life is asking you, do more of what makes you feel good and be aware of what makes you not feel good so that you can deliberately take steps towards doing less of those things and more of the things that make you feel good. So why? So you can be in synchronicity with life itself, okay? And that's governed by how you feel emotionally. And that's what this year is asking you. Also, be aware to downsize the drama in your life. A three year can make things a bit more intense and dramatic and there can be a lot going on and it's really busy and it can be really exciting and fun, but it can also be extremely stressful. You know, so, you know, keep yourself focused and stable and organized right now the month of june for you is a nine and nine is saying out with the old to make way for the new all right so life is asking you what are you holding on to that you would be better off letting go for some people it's a it's a issue you have with someone it's a problem it's an inability to forgive and move on now remember we forgive not so much to say hey you can treat me however you want I don't care, I'm going to let you off the hook. It's not so much that, it's actually more for you. Because the more that you hold on to a grudge, what does that do? Yeah, you heard me. It takes you out of alignment and stops you from being in synchronicity with life itself where all the good stuff happens, you know? So it's actually in your best interest to forgive for you, just as much as it is for anybody else. So life is asking you, what are you not moving on from? Who do you need to forgive? Secondly, if you don't have anything like that going down, then it would be out with the ultimate way for the new, you know? new opportunities. It could be uh, letting go of someone in your life that's sort of not healthy for you, that you've grown out of. It could be a bad habit. It could be giving up sugar or giving up sort of drinking a bottle of wine a night. Who knows, you know? But look at yourself and say, what do I need to let go of in order for me to improve myself in my life? And that's really what it's asking you. So I'll leave that with you, okay? Personal year number four. All right, so this year for you, I'm not going to lie, it does require your effort, all right? And that means head down, bum up, because the four year is asking you, or telling you, or giving the opportunity to do whatever you need to do in your life to get you and your life where you want it to be, all right? Now, I'll give you some examples. For some people, it may be personal development. 
I know in order for me to, you might say, in order for me to get where I want to get, I've got to be more set, more disciplined, and more put in more effort at work so that I can get better results and earn better money and have a more secure, secure financial future or whatever. Other people it might be health. Oh my God, I know that I really need to start exercising more. I really need to start watching what I'm eating because my body's starting to, you know, st starting to get symptoms of illness. Other people it might be, I know to improve my business, I need to bring in an updated accounting system, or I need to, you know, train someone up, or I need to take on a new staff member. Like, it, it, everyone, you guys will know what it means for you, but the question is this, ask yourself this whole year, what do I need to do in order to get myself or and my life where I want it to be, and do and take that action. So it's saying you, you can't just dis uncover what those things are and just go, oh, I need to do that and do nothing. Life is saying, do those things, okay? Don't just sit on your butt and do nothing, take action. And you've got to be really patient this year because things don't happen as quickly and as easily as they usually do. So be patient and persevere. Now, the month of June for you is a one month. And that's all about new beginnings and fresh opportunities. Now, be alert for what those opportunities might be because what we do as humans is we're often so trained to only recognize the big pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, the big opportunities. We don't notice the small little crumbs along the way. Now, here's a cool thing. If you start to train yourself to notice small crumbs or little opportunities, the, when you recognize them and you go, whoa, that was an opportunity, and you give attention to it, you actually attract more of the same because you're giving energy to it. So what it is is we attract what we focus our attention on, okay? So if you focus your attention on the cool little things that you see happening in your life, then those little things can build into big things because like attracts like, all right? Uh, on the second, on the other hand, if there's negative things that you are giving attention to and you're dwelling on them, well, you're going to attract more of that shit too. So you really don't want any of that. So it's in your best interest to sort of give attention to more of what you want and give less attention to what you don't want. Okay. Okay. Personal year number five. Now, this whole year for you guys is about progress, movement, and change. It's where life is creating a change for you, basically. And throughout the whole year, you know, it can be happening already. Uh, some people will have lots of changes gradually throughout the year. Other people will have sort of nothing change, and then one change happened in November or something random like that, you know. There's no way of sort of analyzing exactly how it's going to go, and everyone's five year will be different. But it's where life is saying, you know, we're halfway through a nine-year cycle. Let's shake things up and change the playing field. All right, so some people, it's change that you need and that you want and you are in the driver's seat, so get out there and make those changes. Other people, it's like, I know I need to make a change, but I don't want to, it's too much work, or I'm just gonna pretend it's not happening. In situations like that, life may make that change for you. If it is a, you know, if it is a serious or important change that needs to be made and you're not doing it, life might do it for you, so be aware of that. Um, other people, it might be just a whole you know, some really minor changes. Other people, it could be big changes, like changing careers or moving house or, you know, things like that. So be aware of that. Um, you're going to want your freedom as well this year. So you might feel like you've got itchy feet. Oh, I've got to break free from this work job. I've got to break away from the family and do my own thing. Or I've got to break out of this relationship. It's suffocating me, you know, things like that. Um, and you are in a two-month, in a two-month for June, and that means there is a focus on relationships with people in your life. And these relationships aren't just romantic love relationships with a partner. This could be any anyone, you know, friends, um, family, work colleagues, clients, neighbors, cousins, you know, um, whatever's been brewing beneath the surface in terms of issues with people or somebody, they may rise to the surface to be resolved once and for all in this two month. Great month for those that are looking for love. Um, Get off the couch, get out there, be proactive, and believe that there is someone special out there for you. Um, and sort of you might feel a bit more emotional than you normally do. You know, you might feel like, oh my God, why am I so upset about that thing? It normally doesn't bother me that much, but I'm crying. What's going on with that? The two is the number of emotions. So you you will find that you are your emotions are enhanced 
this month. So um, don't think you're losing your mind and you're overreacting and you're going to stay that way for the rest of your life. It's just because you're in a two cycle and that's what happens. It, influ it enhances the emotions. All right, and that also means you might get some repressed emotional stuff coming up that needs to be looked at and recognized and sort of worked through as well. Okay, I'll leave that with you. Personal year number six. Okay, well, the sixth year is all about being there to be of service where you are needed for a start. And that's especially family, uh, the home, relationships, and those that work in a service-based career or those that are wanting to be in service of the community. All right, so first and foremost, relationship issues this year relationship issues are going to rise to be resolved. So if you're married or you're in a relationship or you're dating someone and, you know, whatever you've been throwing, you know, hiding under the carpet or whatever it is, sweeping under the rug, it's going to come up to be looked at, okay, this year. Also, life's going to ask you, be there for who needs you. When that happens, do it. Do the right thing, all right? Don't sit there going, oh my God, but I need to do this other thing and it's, you know, life will send you another opportunity to do that other thing because it's almost like in a way you're being tested as to you know how much of yourself you're willing to give okay because a lot of the time in life we're all about what we can get and we're all about what's in it for us and everything has to revolve around us but really we are one of the reasons we're all here as human beings on planet earth in the first place is to learn to be more of service to other people. So be there where you are given the call when you are needed. All right, now this month is a three month and it's like, yay, out, you know, it's out and about. Be more social. Uh, there'll be a lot more going on. It's going to be a lot of a quicker, faster paced month than this last month of May was. And so, you know, be organized. Don't have your finger in too many pies. Don't take on too many things at once. All right, now, be more social, get out and about, catch up with people that make you feel good and do more of what makes you feel good. Because the three is saying joy, feel good. And that's because when you feel good emotionally, you are in synchronicity with life itself. Your vibration is raised and you are in what is called a high vibration. And that's where all the good stuff can happen. And when I say good stuff, it can mean just simply solutions to problems or being in the right place at the right time or an opportunity that you've been hoping for can come to you things like that okay also you need to speak your truth so conversation is going to come up you're going to need to say what you really feel you're going to need to be honest where you can be your true authentic self okay through communication if you can't do it verbally or one-on-one -on -one, write an email or journal or if it's something you know really heavy and you don't want to have that conversation or you can't just write it on a piece of paper and get it out, get it out of your system, because you don't want to carry that stuff around, and burn it, all right? Because the main thing is that you express yourself. That's what it's mostly about, okay? Okay, personal year number seven. Seven, well, this whole year, life is saying, you know, work on yourself from within. A big focus on your self-improvement and your personal development. And that's because next year, you're in a very powerful manifestation year when you go into the eight year next year. And the reason the eight year comes before the seven is it's where life is saying, we're gonna give you this year to get your shit together, all right? To work out within yourself where you're losing power, what negative emotions you're holding on to, um, work on how positive you need a more positive attitude if there are certain things that you want to achieve and accomplish in life you need to sort of be positive in that and you also need to have a good mindset on your shoulders across the board anyway you know and so this year is asking you go deep what is it that you want what is it that is holding you back from getting it what do you need to change within yourself and you will find that a lot of the changes that need to be made are from you within to do with what you believe to do with how positive and negative you are to do with uh, you know um, you might be going through a victim mentality oh this never happens for me it happens for them it's not fair or whatever it could be but it's about the internal changes great year to study great year to develop a, any sort of um, skills or techniques that you have okay now you guys are in a four is it four six and seven four? yeah you guys are in a four month um, for June and that means head down bum up all right so that means get clear about what those things are that you need moving forward to get your life and yourself and your health where you want it to be and do those things 
all right take action this month it's going to be busy it's going to mean effort is required this month you have to be patient and you have to persevere okay because things aren't going to come to you you're going to need to go out there and kind of make them happen but you can't force things to happen that's the key here take action set the wheels in motion but don't force your will it's about divine timing and order not your timing and order all right um, so be patient and persevere and trust that things will fall into place. Personal year number eight. Okay, so this year for you guys, several themes are going on. Number one, it's life is asking you to get very clear about the fact that you are an energetic being and you live in an energetic world where we manifest based on what we think and what we believe and how much attention we give to the thoughts that we have so in other words if there's something that you want in your life you need to believe it's possible you need to get yourself to a standpoint first and foremost that you'll be absolutely fine if you don't get it you see that's the key it's not just about oh, I'm going to give energy to what I want and I'm going to try and make it happen I'm going to try and manifest it it's about making peace with yourself and life without having it you see, and it's about knowing that life knows what it's doing. If you don't have something, sometimes there's a reason for that. We're not always going to get the things we want, and that's the key here. We need to learn how to handle ourselves when we don't get what we want. But um, it's a great year to you to learn the intricate details behind the manifestation process. And one of the most powerful ways to do that is through Sandra Ann Taylor's book, uh, Quantum Success. Okay, great little book that will teach you some tips and tools on how you can do those things. Secondly, work on your finances and work and career um, can take a big um, sort of be at the forefront of this whole year. All right, but one thing's for certain, get on top of the, your ability to manifest because you are manifesting left, right and center in an eight vibration. So you need to know that. Uh, you guys are going to be in a five month, 8, 19, 11, 12, 13, 14, yeah, five. Okay, and that means progress, movement, change. All right, you're going to feel like you've got itchy feet. You're going to want to maybe go on a holiday, and that's a great time to do it too. Great time for adventure, great time for making changes, great time to get out there and network and promote yourself. You know, it's a great um, time to do new things, meet new people, try new things, explore. Um, careful of overspending though, okay, because the five does encourage us to sort of go on a rampage with spending, and you can feel a bit addictive, you know, like, oh my God, I need that thing, a bit obsessive. That kind of things so be aware okay and last but by no means uh, least personal year number nine and nine year it's this whole year guys it's all about out with the old to make way for the new it's like a transformation is taking place for some people it'll be really obvious you'll start to feel different you'll start to feel like the way that you've always gone about things in the past isn't really working anymore or you've grown out of it or you're over it or you're bored of it you know um, life is saying step up to the plate man you're coming to the end of a nine-year cycle at the end of this year you know what do you not want to carry for you know for the next nine years moving forward it can be personality traits it might be oh god i'm so sick of being angry with my mother or i'm so sick of not having the confidence to try that new thing or i'm i'm so sick of hurting people you know i really want to try and be a better person it really doesn't matter what it is but life is saying out with the ultimate way for the new what paradigm have you outgrown and leave it behind and be open to new ideas and new opportunities okay um, you guys are in a six month this month of June and that's all about the relationships around you with friends with community members with people at work um, with loved ones and family and love partners you know it's a time to get closer to work on um, what needs to be solved or worked through so that the relationship can improve other people it's nine year and a six month can be this isn't working anymore it's time to let go and move on some people will have that happen and it's out, out of their control it's beyond their control other people it's what they want you know so be aware of that too and remember where one door closes it's only so another door can open but life is also asking you who do you need to forgive what do you need to let go of and you know because you're in a whole new beginning next month as well a whole new month of new beginnings so this life uh, sorry no you're not next year you are and so this whole year is saying what do you want 
for the next nine years. Let's take a look at that, create a plan and start making those shifts now to move towards that even though we've still got like seven months left of this year all right so i hope that information helps like i said at the beginning of the uh reading here if you want your own numerology chart for the next 12 months forecast and some personal information from your full birth certificate name and date of birth you can get a full complete numerology chart from me two for the price of one go to my website charts and reports website's up there and it's 25 bucks for two you order one like you normally would Put the order through and then I'll send you your report, the first one, and I'll ask you for the details for the free second report, okay? And I will see you again in July. Take care until then and may you be happy, healthy, prosperous, and safe. Bye!